Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to be flashing over Delta ROM V3.0, which is based on um, Jelly Bean 4.3. So, what you want to first of all do is have the um, ROM on your internal SD card or your external SD card. In my example, I'm going to have it on my external SD card. Make sure you do a full backup of your phone, be that contacts or whatnot. For example, I've got it on titanium backup, and make sure that is on your computer. Also, if you've never done it already, make sure you have an EFS backup. EFS is very important because if you lose your EFS whilst flashing, then you're going to have to send back the phone to repair at a Samsung repair center. So make sure you back up your EFS on your PC or via some tools provided such as apps um, on the market. So to go ahead with this installation, what we're going to have to do is have um, clockwork recovery. And in this example, I have got clockwork recovery. To flash over clockwork recovery, it's very simple. You do it via Odin, um, or you can do it via mobile Odin, but I've done it via Odin on the PC. So you have clockwork recovery. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is do a full wipe. You're gonna do this anyway during the ROM installation, but I do it as a principle each time I flash a ROM. I wipe the cache, I wipe the Dalvik cache, and I also wipe my internal SD card. Now you guys don't have to do this, um, so there's no need to do it, but I do it just because I prefer a clean internal SD card. So then I'm going to flash from my external SD card where the ROM is located, and I'm going to click Delta ROM. There we go. And this is going to boot us into Aroma Installer. So I'm going to press English, next, next, I agree, next. I'm going to go for a custom installation. So here you can choose what you want um, on and off. I'm going to go for no. Forward rotation, yes. Circular battery, yes. Scrolling wallpaper, yes. Um, touch width rotation, no. Hat camera, yes. Unlimited SMS, yes. Hide SMS from uh, call log, yes. Um, custom kernel, Guji Max 2 will be installed, and I highly suggest it, so I'm going to go yes. Custom boot animation, yes, it's just Delta ROM one. Apps backup. I don't need it. EFS backup, as you can see I was talking about before, I don't need it, but if you haven't done it already, I highly suggest it. Default desktop switch, I don't need it. Boot sound, I don't want it. Email exchange, I'll leave it as yes. Call recording, I don't need. Pop-up browser, no. GPS fast lock, yes. Install base ROM, you want to have install base ROM as yes. Change CSC, I'll show you the list of CSCs that are included, and a full wipe. Right, so as you can see, sometimes it freezes. Do not panic, don't worry about that. Just reboot into recovery, and to go into recovery, I go up on the volume key, home, and power. This happens with Aroma Installer. It happens every now and then. It happens on every ROM that I've tried, um, including Omega ROM, which is very popular. But if that happens, just redo the steps. So I'm just going to quickly go through the steps again. So here you can see the CSC selection. You've got a long list of CSCs. I suggest BTU, which is the one included. So that's what I'm going to go for. And now you can choose the apps that you want to be installed with it. Press next and it will start installing. So just give this a little while. Once it's finished, press next and reboot the device. And just wait for it to reboot. So it has booted up and after giving a little while to reboot and to load up you can see I've got my mobile provider selection which I didn't get in other 4.3 ROMs and here I can go for Virgin because that is my network and now I'm just going to go through setup. So we've finished setup and we've booted up um, to the phone so I'm going to go and show you the the fact that we're on Android 4.3 and there you, as you can see over there, I'm on Android 4.3, Delta ROM V3.0. Going to do another check. As you can see, my AP, my CP, and my CSC are as follows. And now I'm going to go into my CSC to check the CSC. So here is a CSC select. We're going to try with root mode. As you can see, we have got SU. And as you can see, the sales code is correctly BTU, which is brilliant. 
Then I'm going to go into the options to check that the lock screen has the shortcuts. As you can see, we've got the shortcuts there as well. So I want to show you that I've got the 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 circular battery, as you can see right there. What I'm going to test now is if I've got the four-way rotation. As you can see, the four-way rotation works perfectly fine. And what I want to download is Boefra Sound. So what you want to search is Boefla, like so, and what you want to get is the sound control. This is not included in the ROM, but as um, the Guji kernel um, has um, the codec, shall I say, for the Boefla sound, you want to install that and go and open the sound control app. You want to turn it on and enable the options that you want in my in my case it's those go into advanced and set on boot gonna do the volume button mapping and jack plugin safety and what you wanna do is once you've enabled it it would be good to reboot your device at least once so that it um, registers the change and that it applies it to the ROM and the kernel. And I should also mention that we can see we've got a four-way reboot, which is really good. So I'm just going to hit reboot. And in fact, I'm going to show you something in recovery. As you can see over here, when you go into recovery, it's going to ask you for yes, disable recovery flash or whatnot, or do you want to fix root? Just select no, and again, it's going to say, do you want to fix root? No. I'm just showing you that because some people might be concerned or worried about that when it comes up. Just select no. doesn't matter if you press yes, but just select no because you don't need it. Right, so when you boot up, you're going to be presented with this little um, icon over here, and it's going to say, Boefla Sound Control, Volume Service is running. That means it is running and it works, and believe me, you want to have it running because the sound quality you get from it is extremely good. So, have that running and make sure you reboot it after you enable it, so that it just takes it into effect, and make sure you set it on boot. So there we go, guys. That is a installation guide for Delta ROM. Hopefully you've liked uh, this video and it has helped you. Please do subscribe if you haven't already and do like this video or favorite it and share it with uh, other people that would be interested in the ROM. So far it seems really good, really snappy, it seems to work. There seems to be no force close problems or any sort of uh, problems like that. It seems um, extremely fast, I must say, a um, little faster than the other ROMs that I was used to. It could be because there was a lack of those um, those bloatware included but as you can see normally would be pre presented with those um, annoying uh, Vodafone apps that were included with the um, Voda release and in this case we're not presented with any of these bloatware so that means that ROM is nice and clean nice and small as well in terms of uh, for your RAM usage I can try and check my RAM usage for you guys As you can see, if I clear the memory, 27 applications closed, drops down to 584, which is quite good for 4.3. So overall, my first impressions are really good. I'll let you know how its um, battery life goes and whatnot. But so far, very impressed and um, really happy with the ROM. All right, guys, take care. Totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.